Great morning everyone, it's your model mentor here. So today I am going to install my own wig. I've never done that before, but that's what happens when you wait until the last minute to get your hair done when you have to be in Atlanta the next day. So I'm going to attempt to do this myself. Um, I'll show you the hair that I have in a little bit and um, it's a color that I have never done before. Um, I'm a little nervous, but we're gonna be in this together, right? Okay. So, uh, first things first, I need to go ahead and I've watched hours and hours of videos, so shout out to everyone that has put on a wig video for me to learn from. Thank you very much. So, out of everything I've seen, I'm going to do my best and that's all I can do. So I'm going to slick my, uh, my edges all the way back so they're out of the way. And thank you to my similar face, Denise, my older sister, for, um, for helping me put, well, for helping me, for putting these braids in for me. Um, I've heard that this, I've had this for a while, and the, the glue, but um, I actually saw them using this for edges. And I was just like, hmm, that's a pretty good idea since it's hairspray and it'll wash out. So I'm gonna use this to slick my edges back. this on there for a second, see if I can help get the edges down and back, and grab my blow dryer. Alright, I cannot see that far, so I have my my beautiful mirror from SB Cosmetics. Alright, so I think that is back enough to do what I need to do. It's not perfect, but it's okay. So, whew, one second, having a hot flash. Okay, a little hot, but let's do this. And I'm talking about putting on a wig, right? So, that's what my electric fan is for. So, I have this pretty brown, I think it's pretty brown, pretty brown stocking cap. So, just going off of everything I've seen. So, if I'm wrong, leave me alone. I will find out. So, they said to bring it down this far, bring it down over your ears. And I'll make the holes in a second. So, now... I am to spray this, um, spray the, um, uh, what is this? Spray the free spray along here, along my hairline, and a little bit around my ear so it stays, and blow dry it, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I have been blow drying, and I think it's dry. I've been using a cool setting, because they said it'll make it turn white, and I guess I can see that a little bit, but you won't see any of that. Um, so we're gonna make the little slits for the ears. I don't know if I was supposed to do that before or after, but guess what? 
it's done now so all right I'm gonna turn my camera so you can see me trying to delete in and I have a lot of glue to clean off of my forehead I see What we're working with. So I'm just going to snip a little bit more over here, try to get a little bit more even, lay down the sides, and I'll be back. Okay, so this is what I have. I don't know if this is right or not, but I'm going to go grab my wig. And show you what it looks like. We're gonna put it on before I cut the lace and stuff and see how that works. Okay, so this is my wig. Her name is Stormy. So look at this color. I've never never done this before. Never. So I'm a little nervous. This is her card, is what it looks like. They didn't have any color but this one. But I wanted to try something different, so this is what we have. So, let me cut her card off. Alright, so, like I guess so let's put her on and see what it's looking like with this cap and see if I need to take this cap off. Because I will. I just watched too many hours of videos not to try to do the cap, too. So, let's see. I have a lot of combs. It has two combs here. It's only this much lace and then the lace part underneath. It has two combs right here and a comb in the back. So let's pull this down. Okay, so there's my cap. So I need to bring my cap way back. I think it may even be a good idea to just take the cap off. So, but isn't she cute? All right, so guess what? At least I know I can put it on, but I don't think this is necessary, so I'll be back. Okay, so I took the cap off. I used rubbing alcohol because I watched that little tip in the video as well. Um, my hair is still super slick, so um, that'll work. So now I don't have that cap. So okay. All right, so I am going to attempt to put this band on. as best as I could. Let's see if we can bring this comb down. Yeah. Getting so frustrated. Okay, so that seems secure. Hope that big band is what's making that seem secure. So now that we got that on like that, let's try to get this back out of the way. So now what I'm going to do is
Too bad this is not wine. Anyways, so it's starting to lift up a little bit, but that's okay because it's up under here. I'll probably go back and fix that a little bit. This, this one too, but I was able to get this part to lay down, so that's good. So let's remove these clips, and we might not even have to worry about doing little hairs. Yeah, I don't think I'll worry about that. Um, where is my edge control? it up a little bit and put my face on and I'll be back okay so I put a little mousse on it to help the flyaways and I tied um, it snug but not too tight uh, so I could help lay down and this is the finished product and I feel like a million bucks not only because it looks great but because I did it myself so I am so excited I love the color oops I gotta work on my sides a little bit more but I'll do that later um I got or just be careful playing with my hair um but yeah the texture is great um I didn't, when it had the lace on it, I had, at first I wasn't feeling it, but now for a little something, just a little eyeliner, mascara, and a little something on the lipstick, transform the face, remember that, but uh, I am loving it, loving it, loving it, so thank you for watching me as I, again, so Thank you for watching me as I uh, attempted to put this wig on and apparently did a great job. Make sure that you follow me on YouTube at Model Mentor. On Instagram, I am Rachel, R-A-C-H-E-L, underscore Model Mentor. And on Facebook, you can catch me on Model Mentor and also in the group, The Day in the Life of a Model. So... Also, make sure you go to my website, MissModelMentor.com, MSModelMentor.com. I don't know if you can see it up there or not, but make sure you go to my website, check me out. If you are looking to get started in your modeling career or you're feeling a little stagnant where you are, hit me up. We can work it out. So until next time, I'll see you later.